Well, the boat warehouse has plenty of boats here today, for sure. They've got a good selection of DVs and pontoons. We'll walk around here real quick and kind of get a feel, see what they got. I got the fishing machine 1800 Pro Series. Put the 150 on the back, that's good. Fish machine 165. What's this one? Another 165? It's a 1675 with the 90 on the back. Rear deck conversion. That's it. Nice. This 165 right here with this red looks really nice here at the show for sure. Looking good. Boat warehouse is representing today, guys. Come on down. Come on down. What do they got? I got a seven fish machine 1775 here. Another real deck conversion. They've got some accessories in the gunnel. Nice. Got one. The one nine or one fifteen on it. Alright folks, there is our new double windshield. SS250 pontoon and that looks sweet guys. I've only seen it one other time. That looks pretty tight. Walkthrough configuration. Got the two aft lounge seats. That is a hot boat right there. Closer look here. Like this. Oh All right, folks. Well, we're getting ready to start day two uh, here in Toronto. I'm getting ready to head down and catch a shuttle uh, over to the to the uh, International Boat Show. Check out www.fishnb.ca or brentboatcheck.com. Follow the link to the Low Boats website and check out this awesome fishing machine. And I'm in the FM1775 and I just want to show you how easy the conversion bench works. So you have two seats, you have a handle here, you just flip it over put it down and you have a large casting deck. Good afternoon, voters. Coming up at 1 p.m. at the Boat House, Rob Davidson presents Ethanol Fuel System Maintenance and Long Term Storage. For Get all twisted up in the net, it should be a lot harder to have a successful release. It takes a long time to grow a muskie, for a muskie to grow to be a, a, a totally size. They make up less than 1% of the fish population out there. We want to make sure we respect those fish as much as we can. We spend a lot of time, effort, and money trying to capture one. We get a nice picture, and we want to make sure we respect that fish when we do capture. 